Last question for you before we go, because I don't want to take too much time here because it is late. Um, it's after nine now? Wow. Okay. What do you, what's your plans after college? Like you graduate when and then what's your plans? I graduate in May 2020. What my plans are after that, really not too sure. Uh, like I'm, I'm interested in the hospitality field. Like I mentioned, I worked a lot working weddings. Maybe I can work with my company doing sales or in the marketing department there. Not sure. Real estate is another interest, but that'd be pretty difficult straight off the bat. I would like something else to go for me. And then yeah, I'm just figuring out, uh, figuring everything else out. Right yeah. Now, so. so so May of this, well, this coming May. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Um, the biggest thing, like, so you're about what, 21? 21. Like the biggest thing right now that I always, like I wish I would have known back then that you kind of know now is like people expect that they come out of college at 21, they graduate and like you should have the world figured out. Like there's people in their 40s that don't know what they're doing. They're switching jobs, they're doing different careers, 50s, whatever, starting second careers. I mean, you're never gonna have it really figured out. Uh, I think I'm one of the odd scenarios where I actually have been in the same job since I was 21, but it's not that I had it figured out. Like I didn't really want to fully go into real or fully stay in real estate until a few years ago. Like really, it was probably four years ago where I'm like, I think I'm actually gonna like really, you know, tr like really put all my eggs in one basket and really focus on this and really grow it. Before it was always kind of like a stepping stone for me, and then I got to the point where, you know, my reasons for doing it got bigger, my my goals got bigger, my overall reach got bigger, um, and the people that I could I could help in effect. So for me, I think that it will be that way. But again, I was talking about we were in the agent open, um, and I talked pretty candidly to most people that I'm like, hey, this is where the vision is, and I don't know. So like, real estate for me, like all of a sudden, you know, ten years from now, again, I'll be turning forty. Like that's not that old. And, and the fact that at that point, what can I, what I've been able to accomplish in ten years, what can I accomplish in another ten years? When we talk about the snowball effect. It's going to get bigger and bigger opportunities are going to get bigger, you know, and, and things are going to rise. And then it just, I don't force it. It's just you keep doing the little things every day, more people take notice. And then you get a little bit more, you know, what's the word, um, like kind of clout kind of thing. Like people give a little more like, okay, this guy's kind of earned his right to sit at the table or earned his right to be in the conversation or whatever you want to call it. And I think that for you guys coming out of 18, you will not have everything figured out. But I think your twenties is a lot of like, a lot of good times, but it's a lot of figuring yourself out and trying to find something. And I don't don't rush too quick. Like the one the one thing I think that kids should do coming out of college, just you know, don't stress about it. Like get a job. It's not where you're gonna work your entire career. It could be, but you might just get a job and just know like, hey, I'm gonna be the best I can at this job. I'm gonna learn as much as I can, and opportunities are gonna present themselves. You could meet some random person on a flight from you know, a lot or long Newark. You you drive to I don't know. LaGuardia, wherever your closest airport is, down to Florida, and you meet someone on the plane, you chit chat with them, and an opportunity arises. I mean, the world is so crazy like that that you never know. And I'm not saying that like that exact scenario is going to happen, but it's kind of just be open to stuff, open to say yes, say yes to a lot of stuff. I say yes to a lot of things, um, and I think if that's something that you can focus on, I think you guys will be good because you, you and Han are very bright. Like you guys, I, I mean. Yeah, I mean, for your age, for the stuff that you guys are doing, like your work ethic's good, you're putting in the time and some good stuff. You obviously have good mannerisms, you carry yourself well, and um, so I think you guys would you guys will be very good once you guys decide to actually graduate, or when you decide to, when you actually graduate and decide which one to do next, so. 